Welcome to the Art Center Library Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you a few aspects of the library website. To visit us, go to lib.artcenter.edu, and this will bring you to our library homepage. From here, I'm going to show you a few features that are available to you. For starters, we have an Ask a Librarian feature on the bottom right of the library website. I'll go a little more in-depth later in the video. From the homepage, you will see a slider that shows featured items, services, and other news stories going on in the library. Then, if we scroll down a bit, you'll see some information about our online portal. Here you'll find links to research guides, search tips, review library policies, contact a librarian, our liaison librarians, and also the online resources, which you can also find at the top of the page up here. Now let's scroll down a bit to look at our featured items. In this section, we'd like to highlight new titles or items that are corresponding to an event that's going on in the library. Next, we have the link to our news stories, current and past. So go ahead and click on see all and you will see all of the events we've had in the library. Now let's go back to the home page. Next, we're gonna scroll down a bit and we're gonna look at the section about the Art Center archives. In this section, you will find the archives email address. You can also visit the archives online. If you'd like to know more about the archives and would like to know how to browse the catalog, check out our YouTube tutorial in the description down below. Now let's go back to the home page. Next you will find our shuffle. Here we have quotations from some of the books in our catalog that you will find for checkout. At the bottom of the page you will find our phone number, email address, location and hours of the libraries, and our social media outlets. One new source I'd like to show you is our Ask a Librarian feature which is found at the bottom right hand of the library website. This feature will appear at the bottom of every page. To open it, simply click on the dialog box with the three little dots and open up the chat window. Next, you will enter your name, ask your question, and then select Start Chat to get started with a librarian or library staff member. Just a note, if you do plan to browse some more, make sure to open up another tab to do your browsing, otherwise you will be disconnected from the chat. Now let's scroll back up to the top of the page. From here, you can access your account by selecting My Account in the upper right. Next, you will log in using your Inside Art Center username and password. For more information about My Account, check out our tutorial on accessing your library account down below in the description. Let's go back to the home page. Next, we're going to look at the About page. On this page, you will find our library policies and checkout policies. For example, if you're an undergrad student, you can see what you are able to check out and for how long. Next, we're going to scroll up and look at our Contact Us page. Here you'll find a map of both our library locations, our hours of operation, and then also if you scroll down, you'll see contact information for the library staff. So feel free to email us at any time, or you can chat with us live by selecting the Ask of the Librarian box on the bottom right of each page. We also have a page for frequently asked questions. Here you'll find some of our more popular questions and also recent questions. You can also look for prior answers by typing your question in the box. You can also launch our Ask a Librarian feature by clicking on the dialog box with the three dots and fill this out. Now let's go back to our Frequently Asked Questions page. If you don't want to speak with someone live, you can submit a question, just fill this out, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. You will enter your question, your email address, first and last name, patron type, and major of department, and then select Submit Your Question. Now let's go back to the Frequently Asked Questions page. On this page, you will see a couple different options. You will see our library email address, our phone number, you can reach us via text message, you can find your liaison librarian, you can request a research consultation, request a purchase, or you can find us on social media. Now let's go back to our homepage. Once you're back on the homepage and you want to start on some research, I recommend you use the research tools. This page is perfect for students, faculty, and staff in the early stages of research. On this page you will see links to our research guides, online resources, course reserves, liaison librarian program, research help, courier service, request to purchase, interlibrary loan, and Caltech and Occident College libraries. For more information on some of these resources, check out some of the tutorials in the links below. Now let's go back up to the top of the page. Here you'll find another link to our online resources. You can also check out our faculty services. Here you'll find information for new faculty, our courier service, our course reserves, 
Liaison Librarian Program, Research and Instruction Information, Information about Reciprocal Barring Program, Caltech and Occident College Libraries, our Faculty Technology Studio, and our Digitization Services. The final link we have is the News link. You can click on that to look in an archive of the past news and events that happened in the library. The last thing I want to explain is the basic search and extended search. The basic search will be any items that we have currently in the library that are physical, whether they be a book, a magazine, or a DVD. The extended search will be everything that we have physically in the library and also digitally. To learn how to do an extended search properly, check out the video tutorial in our description. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in giving you some basic information about our homepage. Thank you.